Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of a new nano uh, micro quadcopter. Now, what's so special about this one? Well, other ones that I've seen, a lot of them, have a little 0.3 megapixel cameras. This one is the Ishin E10C, but this one has a 2 megapixel 720p camera. And actually, you know, I did an initial test flight with it yesterday. It wasn't too shabby. I actually kind of liked it. Um, if you look at it, it's very similar to the CX-10C um, in shape and design. <laughs> you can say, it is, yes, it is a clone of the CX-10C, but with, you know, a relatively good camera. Um, if you look on the side of this, it has a charging port and an on-off switch, the same as the CX-10C. also has LED lights, same as the CX-10C, but it's a relatively good price because it's an Ishin product. Most Ishin products are very inexpensive, and so is this one. I forgot exactly how much it is, but I believe it's in the low 20s is the actual price of this quadcopter. Um, looking at its controller, it's very similar to other uh, nano quadcopter controllers. Uh, the upper button here, upper left, activates photos and the upper right button activates video and you can change rates I believe by pressing the left stick and change and do flips by pressing the right stick and telling it which direction to flip and other than that the trim buttons are here for uh, pitch and for roll there is no throttle or yaw trim button with this controller so in effect you know it's a very basic quadcopter with 720p camera let's see how good that camera is let's take it up for a flight turn the switch on Placing the quadcopter on the ground to bind it. Turning the transmitter on. Okay, transmitter's bound. Now, I'm going to take it off from hand, but I want to show you. See the little red light there? That's your indicator whether it's recording or not. Press it once, and if you see the red light flashing, it is recording. Now, I'm going to go change the rates on this by pressing this button. I'm going to intermediate. We're going to start off in intermediate flight. Hope you enjoy this flight. Pretty cool, huh? Relatively good range, about, well, about 30 meters. But that's its camera. We'll send it over by the lights, up and over the lights. And that's the lights. There's a wind up there blowing it back. Rotate around the area and bringing it down. Now this has, I believe, a 150 milliamp hour battery, which is relatively large, but the reason for that is to power this camera on this thing. There it is. Close up look at it. And it's still recording, it's going back up again. So, you know, a 720p camera and a little micro size quadcopter this size, that's pretty darn cool. Okay, that's enough of the video. Now let's try, um, I want to save power in effect. <laughs> let's try the perfor flight performance of this, going to a higher rate. This is expert rate actually. Okay, at expert rate it does auto flips. So be very careful. Coming out of expert rate, I'm going back to beginner. Let's do a regular flip on this. Oh, that's video. <laughs> Am I still recording? It's the right button. There's a flip. It does it automatically, folks. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. you got to tell it which direction to flip. But at an expert rate, it does have auto flipping, so be very careful there. Let's set it back up again. Higher rate. Okay, it's a little bit heavy for flips. <laughs> I don't recommend flips because it goes right in the vortex ring state because of the weight of the camera. So we're gonna we're gonna dispense with the flips. Going to higher rate. And we're gonna sit here and recalibrate the gyros from those little accidents we had there. Now this does not have headless mode folks. So unfortunately, we are not going to be do, able to demonstrate headless mode with this. Intermediate. 
and the battery's starting to feel a little sluggish to tell you the truth right now. So I think that's about our flight time we get with this. But again, one of the very few quad little micros, nanos, well there are others, with a video camera. One more time, camera on. Showing its ability with the camera. And this is the CX-10C. And we're almost out of juice. I'm not getting any LVC flashing, turning off the camera, but it just loses power. Um, no LVC warning and no dropping from the sky. It just loses power. So that's about it, folks. That's about the flight time you get out of it. So again, this is the E-10C with 720p camera. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101. Signing out.